Do you love Claude like I do, but sometimes wonder what model should you be using? Claude's continuing to develop, and much like ChatGPT, there's multiple different AI models or engines that you can choose to use. Let's take a look at each of those so that you can pick the one that's best for your needs. All right, welcome to Claude. We're going to take a look at their different models here. We're going to go there. If, uh, as I record this on December 4th, 2024, uh, this little box in the corner is something you might want to get used to seeing with Claude. It's been coming up a lot, and that's basically saying because of the amount of volume they're using, they're defaulting you to what they call concise responses. And I'll show you what that means here in a moment. Good news, we can get rid of that by just clicking on it, and it goes away. So here's Claude, this is our screen we've got. First, let's talk about the different models that are available, so you can pick the one that's best suited for you. So you can see I can click right here in the chat window and I can pick the model I want. I've got Claude 3.5 Sonnet and 3.0 Opus that are defaulting here. You're going to default to 3.5 Sonnet and that's an amazing model, but it does actually use quite a bit of credit. And so I don't always use that one. And we can take a look at more models here and we've got 3.5 Sonnet, a slightly older model, and 3 Haiku. And as you're using these models, these you want to choose which one's are the best fit for you. By default, I encourage you to stick on 3.5 Sonic. It's very fast, it's very good, and it, it, can, it does great all the way around. 3.3 Opus you can use, but it really excels at complex tasks, things that have a lot of things that are going on and a lot of reasoning that needs to take place. That's great use. You may go, well, Jonathan, why don't they use it all the time? Well, the reason is it's going to use more of your of what's your available usage at one time. So while Claude doesn't have a particular cap that they give you to say you only can use it so many times, they do monitor your usage. And as you use Opus, it, that uses bigger chunks. Um, it's kind of the difference between maybe big V8 engine in your car and a hybrid model. You, Claude 3.5 Sonnet and especially 3.5 Haiku, which is not currently available on the desktop, but is via API. Those use less gas. They're much more like a hybrid versus 3.5 or 3 Opus, 3.0 Opus, but 3 Opus, that's like having a big V8 engine. It's very powerful, but it takes a lot of gas along the way. So again, by default, you're going to be in 3.5 Sonnet. That's a great model to be. One other thing that Claude gives you is the ability of the type of responses that you're going to get. And what you choose here will impact how much you can use Claude. Now, if you're only prompting a few times a day, this is a non-issue. It's not going to matter. But if you're a power user or you're using dozens of prompts a day, you may run into this. Normal is what normally comes up, unless you see that pop-up that we saw earlier today. This is where you're going to be, but Claude's been for the last week or so, sending everybody into what they call their concise model. Why? It uses less resources. You can change that at any point in time by clicking normal and you're good to go. You can also pick an exploratory, I'm sorry, an explanatory model, which is longer educational oriented responses that are great for learning and stuff like that. Really helpful if you're trying to learn about a topic. And then they also have formal, formal, I'm sorry, oral, where you can use clear and well-structured responses. Normal is fantastic. Concise is great. It's just going to be shorter. Again, it uses bet a little bit less. And I just did a video the other day talking about custom styles, one of which is mine is a YouTube explainer voice that you can actually train Claude in different voices and tones that reflect you. So you can set up, as you can see, multiple styles there. Again, just notice here a result says we're experiencing high demand. Choosing concise responses will help you chat more with Claude. That's because I've checked normal and they're trying to tell me, if you want more usage, Jonathan, click on concise. When I click on concise, then I'm gonna get more usage and that's good. So we like that. And again, 4.5 concise, or I'm sorry, 3.5 sonnet with concise replies. Why well, I get, get tongue tied with all the numbers is still a great model to be at. So that hopefully explains a little bit about how that worked. Let's go take a look at how this may be applicable to you in other models, such as some of the aggregators. All right. So I just mentioned that another area where the models really become important is when we're using aggregator tools. I'm going to show you Magi here. There's other great tools like Ruby and Poe and, and others. I want to show you where this is because Magi does a great job of explaining the cost. So when you're using an aggregator tool like Magi or Ruby or Poe, you get a certain number of credits that you can use every month. And the reason that is, is that basically the model is provide they're using API costs. And so they're providing you a limit so that they get to make a little bit of money as well. So I've got my models I can choose here. And this is the box that I want to show you when I click on this. This is pretty consistent across the models. I'm not going to say it's exact, but it's pretty close. 
So you can see here, I've got different models that are available. And let's start with the quad models. That's what we're talking about in this video. We've got quad 3.5 IQ. Now remember, that's not available in quad itself yet, but it is available here. It's probably my go-to model that I use most of the time. You can see over here, when we look at the context, it's got a 200,000 character window. That's great. And it's got what they call a multiplier. That's how Magi talks about these of 0.5. What does that mean? It means that you're going to use half as many credits when you're using Haiku as you would be if you were using Sonnet. And that's helpful. Haiku is still incredibly valuable and incredibly capable. And it's the model that I use candidly by default when I'm using my aggregator tools at this point. It does a great job for half the price. If I need a little bit more thinking, a little bit more power, I'm going to upgrade to Quad.3 or 3.5 Sonnet. Keep getting tongue tied here. That's a great model. And you can see here, the based on the way that Magi works this, and this is again pretty typical, it's got a 1x multiplier, meaning you use it, you're going to use one of your credits, and, and that's kind of how it works. But you're using twice as many credits as if you were using Haiku, so it's kind of twice as expensive. Then we've got Quad 3.5 Opus. Notice it's 3x, that means it's three times as expensive, so you're going to run through your credits three times as fast when you're using Opus. Now, Opus is incredibly powerful and is really good for complex tasks. But if you're not doing complex tasks, candidly, I'd absolutely stick with 3.5 and 3.5 Haiku or Sonnet and Haiku. My default in using the aggregator tool has been to go with Quad 3.5 Haiku. I find it gives me incredible responses at, again, roughly half the cost. And of course, that means great value. And I love great value. I hope that review is helpful as you see different models and what they can do. As you can see, for most things at this point, I'm actually using Claude 3.5 Haiku because it's a great balance. It gives me what I need. It gives me great interaction and the, the costs are low. Even with a paid subscription, I get more usage than I do out of any of the other models probably, uh, or at least any of the models I want to use. And so it's a great way to go. But you've got all kinds of opportunities here and I hope that this walkthrough gives you a good insight of which ones you should use. As I mentioned on the ChatGPT video, if you want to look at the ChatGPT models, where this can really become relevant for you is in two areas. One, Chant Claude limits the amount of usage that you get on any model, especially as they're building out their infrastructure. Although those limits are reasonable when you use models like 3.5 Haiku or 3.0 Haiku, you're going to get more usage than if you use the other models like 3.0 Opus or 3.5 Sonnet. Uh, 3.5 Sonnet's a great overall tool and I use it a lot, but I've actually moved down to 3.5 Sonnet to get, or Haiku, I'm sorry, to get more usage uh, on that model. Where it also is relevant is if you're using any of the AI aggregator models, tools like Magi and Ruby and Poe, where you get a series of credits that you use each month, and the number of credits that each query you use is based upon the model that you pick. Each one of them works a little bit differently, but they follow the same basic strategy here that different models cost different amounts of credits. And I want to encourage you to, to balance. You don't always need the best model. A lot of the things that we're looking to do can use one of the intermediate or even lower end models and still give us great results with using fewer credits. If you've got questions, I'd love to hear it. Please post down in the comments. We'd love to hear what you have to say, and I'd love to hear what your favorite model is. Let me know down below.